Yama, I'm Jack, and this is Newsbreak. Remember that NASA spacecraft that returned to Earth last month carrying a sample from an asteroid? Well, scientists have been carefully studying that sample and they're pretty excited with what they've found. So's Thomas. You ready to see the results of the mission? Yeah. Woo! Take a peek. So the first analysis shows samples that contain abundant water in the form of hydrated clay minerals, and they contain carbon. It's a pretty big deal, and it's exactly what scientists were hoping to find when they opened this capsule full of 4.6 billion year old material from an asteroid more than 90 million kilometers away. We kept looking around at each other saying, you know, is this really happening? We were so excited after years of preparation that we were finally performing these analyses. They're so excited because the carbon and water molecules they found are basically the building blocks for life on Earth. And scientists think material like this might have brought life to our planet billions of years ago. And I want to stop and think about what that means. That is how we think water got to the Earth, the reason that Earth is a habitable world. There's still a lot more to learn from the asteroid soil as we get one step closer to understanding our planet and the solar system. The science team will be working on these samples for the next couple of years, but they really will represent generations of scientists that will come after us who will have access to these materials. As conflict continues to grow in Israel and Gaza, the Australian government has arranged flights to help Australian citizens leave Israel. While Aussies have been told to try to take commercial flights where possible, lots of airlines are cancelling their scheduled flights, leaving many stranded. So three special Qantas flights have been organised to start flying citizens home from tomorrow. There'll be more information on this story and what's happening on BTN Classroom next week. When I say superhuman reflexes, you might think of Spider-Man or The Flash. But, but what if I told you that goalies in soccer might have some super reflexes of their own? Here's Xander. Tonight on The Football Files. Goalkeepers, what makes them special? Is it that they may use their hands? No! It's that they have a narrower temporal binding window and an overall reduction in the degree of audio-visual integration. But what does that mean? That's right, a recent study has shown that professional goalkeepers can use their senses more effectively than non-goalkeepers. Researchers in Dublin tested pro goalkeepers, pro outfield players and regular Joes to see how they'd respond to a mix of audio and visual cues. And the results are these graphs, which look a bit complicated. Essentially, they show that goalkeepers are able to process cues from different senses more quickly than other groups and can separate audio cues from visual cues more effectively. The researchers say these skills help goalkeepers to react quickly and accurately when they need to make a save. But we do not know if these skills can be learned, or if professional goalkeepers got their jobs because of this natural skill set. Woo! Ooh. Sorry, don't mind me, I'm just practicing a new way to walk in preparation for these next stories. This is pretty good, yeah? Stepping into our first story, and researchers from Northwestern University in the US have used AI to design a robot capable of walking on a flat surface. It took three attempts, but eventually came up with this design for a weird-looking thing made out of silicon. That, when pumped with air, mimics a walking motion. A coyote pup in the US walked, or rather ran, back into the wild after recovering from a broken tibia. The little guy was rescued back in May by a wildlife group who noticed his broken leg. And he spent the past few months recovering and being adorable with other coyote pups before being released back into his natural habitat. And a town in Florida in the US has held its 43rd annual Swan Roundup, where city employees capture the 50 swans that call this lake home so they can be given wellness exams from the local animal hospital. And yes, I'm aware they're doing a lot of flapping and floating, but that's kind of their version of walking, right? Well, that's all we've got for you. It's time to walk on out of here and we'll see you tomorrow with more. Bye. Ooh. Oh, that's quite good. Oh, yeah. Ha, ha, ha.